do you want to conquer muscle soreness? I used to get extremely sore and stiff after games and workouts, but all of that has changed. In this video, I'll show you seven tricks to reduce muscle soreness that I use so I wake up the next day feeling fresh, energetic, and ready to go. I'm Dylan Tubia, of Progressive Soccer, and if you're new to this channel and you want to improve faster and achieve more, hit that subscribe button right now and push the bell notification so you never miss a video. If you're already a subscriber and you appreciate my content, you want to see this channel grow, make sure you always hit that like button and share these videos on social media. A big thank you to everyone who has purchased my advanced training programs. It's because of you that I have the freedom to continue to make these free YouTube videos for everyone else. Recovery is a science. Recovery is so important. How are you supposed to keep improving if you're too sore to train the next day? Let me show you how you can recover faster. So usually, obviously, right away you would want to do a cool down, but it's cold out here, so I don't want to sit around and get stiff. We're going to go inside and I'll finish my cool down inside where it's a little warmer. Here is nice. I have a bike. So I'm actually gonna bike. A little bit of movement after, as you may have done in the past, some light movement shaking, but even walking or cycling, something like that, it's really good to help you start loosening up the muscles. You won't be as sore the next day. So look around here. Who else is here? Nobody. But that's okay. Because I'm taking the time. Everyone else left? No, I'm not done yet. In fact, I'm just getting started. So this is a little awkward. I probably should be on this one a little lower. But something like that. You might just want to bike like five minutes. And then you could go into some static stretching. You've probably heard it before, but are you actually doing it? Stretching after exercise, workouts, or games will reduce the tension in your legs. It will reduce your soreness the next day. So while you're stretching, you don't have to push your flexibility a lot. Really just focus on your breathing. Try to connect to your muscles and release the tension in those specific areas. I put together a collection of cool down stretches that you can use. If you want to get the full list of of these exercises, these stretches, go to the blog post. I'll put a link in the description of this video. Another thing I've started doing as part of my cool down, but also my warm up and even throughout the day are rotations like these. They're great for reducing joint pain as well as muscle pain and stiffness. Just focus on getting a full range of motion in all of your joints from your ankles, knees, hips, back, spine, neck and shoulders. Drinking my recovery helping me to recover faster. You don't need it, but if you want it, you want to add a little bit, you want to recover even faster, it's a good thing to do. I'll put a link in the description as well if you want to check it out. Um, all natural, try to stay away from chemicals and sugars in your post-workout and your pre-workout. So now, brought a little snack. So honestly for myself, I wouldn't eat right away if it was just the end of the day and I was going to bed. But if you have to play, let's say you were playing in a tournament and you had to play the next day, you would want to eat, you would want to get carbohydrate protein in your system right away because it will help you recover quicker. 
So let's say you had a game and then you were playing later, you would want to eat something. Yes, you would want to eat something right away. There's a small window of about one hour where if you don't eat those carbohydrates, especially right away, then your muscles won't recover as quickly. So instead of waiting, let's say, until you get home, three hours, two hours, until you actually eat a post-game meal, you want to have something just like that, like a banana or an apple, some form of carbohydrate, especially, that you can get into your system right away. That will help you recover quicker, get more energy back into your muscles if you have to play again. If you don't have to play again and you want to burn some fat, it's best not to eat a post-game meal. Most people wouldn't tell you that. They say, would say your muscle would crumble away. I've done it for for years now, and I see great results, and it's a, a little fat-burning trick that I use. So if you want to burn fat, don't eat post-game. And if you need to recover, you want to, you want to have energy in your muscles right away, eat post-game. So I'm just having a banana, and I just brought a little thing of some walnuts here. If you want to do the chocolate milk thing, that's up to you. Personally, I don't drink milk. But think about getting some source of carbohydrate and some source of protein into your system post-match. If you really want to reduce soreness, this is taking it to the next level, but it's extremely effective. You can do this at home. I actually go to the gym after my games and I do some cold water and hot water immersion contrast going back and forth. I'll go from a cold pool to a hot tub, but at home you can set up an ice bath for yourself or you can just use cold water. Don't be afraid of the cold water. It's extremely good for you. It's really a mental challenge more than a physical one. So just get yourself in there, calm your body and focus on your breathing. After your cold bath, you can do a contrast hot bath or I'll say warm bath because you don't want to burn yourself. You can also put in some Epsom salts or magnesium salts, which are great for helping with muscle recovery and reducing muscle soreness. How long should you do these baths? Well, the more time you put in, the more benefit you're going to get. However, I would say a minimum of 10 minutes in each bath, a maximum of around 20 will definitely help you get rid of those sore legs tomorrow. Your body needs nutrients to recover. If you don't give it the proper nutrients, it will not heal as fast. So your post-match or post-workout nutrition meal should be a meal that is high in protein. Yes, carbohydrates will also help you replenish your glycogen, which means you'll have more energy in your muscles tomorrow. Here's a picture of the meal I made. I can give you the recipe in a different video. You also want to think about getting lots of water into your system, not just with your post game meal, but throughout the rest of the day. You will notice after your games and workouts that your urine has become yellow again. You need to drink water to get it back to clear. Also, the more muscle soreness you have, the more water you need to drink. You can watch this video and go back to your old eating habits, but you need to understand the better your nutrition, the better your recovery. If you want to take your recovery to an even higher level, you can do a little tension release. I usually do a little recovery session at night. It only takes about 10 minutes, but I wake up feeling fresh. I'll just do some static stretches again, really focusing on the specific muscles on my body that are feeling tight. I also use what is called a thumper. It is basically a vibration tool. So you can put it on different parts of your body. Usually I would hold it a little longer, but I'm just demonstrating here. It vibrates, sends vibration through your muscles and helps release tension. I can put a link in the description if you wanna take a closer look at this recovery tool. 
Obviously, you've heard of foam rolling. It's another great way to push the tension, to massage the tension out of your muscles. Again, I'm speeding through the exercises here just to demonstrate a few, but you really want to slow down, take your time, and enjoy the pain because that is helping you recover quicker. I'll put a link to a foam roller in the description as well. It's amazing how many people are frustrated with their recovery, yet they are neglecting the importance of their sleep. If you want to recover faster, you need to put a very high priority on your sleep. This means getting to bed at a reasonable time, aiming for about seven to eight hours of quality sleep. However, if you're extremely sore or tired, fatigued, and you really want to recover, you may want to push your sleep to nine or 10 hours and you will feel the benefits. Although this isn't related to muscle recovery, I had to put this in here because it's so important. I think you should do it after every game, training session, or even workout. Analyze what happened. Were you happy with your performance or do you need to improve on it? Either way, you want to break down everything you did out there and analyze what went well, what went wrong, what you need to improve on. So while you're laying in bed at night, go through all the plays, go through all the exercises, go through everything that happened and ask yourself, how can I do better next time? With review will come improvement. So add this to your post-match recovery routine and you will be a better player in a shorter period of time. Recovery is so important. If you learn to recover faster, you will be able to have an amazing advantage over your opposition. So in your next practice, after your next game or your workout, I want you to try these seven muscle soreness recovery tricks. Number one, we talked about immediate recovery. Right after the game, what are you doing? Release some tension with some light aerobic work and some static stretching. After that, you wanna get immediate nutrition into your body, especially if you have to play again or train again within the next eight hours. Number three, you want to experiment with cold and hot therapy. Jumping in a cold pool, taking a cold bath, a hot shower even. These things will help your muscles recover faster. Number four, get a good post-match meal. That means a high portion of protein, good source of carbohydrates, especially as I said, if you want energy back in your muscles and some healthy fats, a well-balanced meal. Number five, do some extra tension release before you go to bed. That can be stretching, foam rolling, or using special devices like I showed you in this video. Finally, get that quality sleep. It's so important, do not overlook it. If you want to recover faster, never neglect the importance of sleep. If you're sore, you might even wanna add a few more hours on there. And finally, I threw in a bonus tip for you. That was to review your performances, analyze what you did well and what you didn't do so well on so you can improve and actually learn from your mistakes, improve faster than everyone else and become the player Player that you want to be. If you found this video valuable, hit that like button and share this video on social media. If you truly want to improve faster and achieve more, go to my website, progressivesoccertraining.com and complete the 30 minute crash course. It's guaranteed to make you play better in your next match. A big thank you to everyone who has purchased my advanced training programs. It's because of you that I have the freedom to continue to make these free YouTube videos for everyone else. If muscle soreness drives you crazy, you want to recover faster than everyone else, it's time to make a change to your recovery routine. Use these seven tips and you will feel amazing the next day. You'll be able to train and keep improving. Use this advice and never look back.